As India takes the helm of the G20 presidency, the bustling metropolis of Delhi is gearing up for monumental event that will bring together world leaders, economics and officials from diverse sectors. Welcome to Telangana today. From declaring a government holiday to putting stringent security measures in places, let's look at how the national capital prepares for one of the busiest Septembers. The G20 summit will take place between September 9th and 10th at the brand new Bharat Mandapam convention venue in Delhi's Pragati Medan. You Delhi is preparing to ensure the seamless movement of over 30 leaders, including invitees and their interrogators. Notable dignitaries including US President Joe Biden, Chinese President Xi Jinping, Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, and French President Emmanuel Macron are among those set to attend the summit. Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal has declared that all public, municipal corporations, private and schools in the city will be closed from September 8 to 10. Businesses such as banks, financial institutions, and retail stores will also be closed during this time. Traffic restrictions will be enforced for heavy vehicles during the summit. Access to certain areas will be limited to ensure the security of the dignitaries. Delhi traffic police have conducted mock drills to review restriction and diversion measures on key routes for the secure movement of the distinguished guests. Delhi's police force is being trained to handle potential chemical and biological threats ensuring the safety of all participants. The Indira Gandhi International Airport and Panam IAF base are gearing up to receive around 50 VVIP players. Delhi Traffic Police will also share information about the limits with other map-based applications so that people may stay updated. V.K. Saxena, the Lieutenant Governor of Delhi, is overseeing various aspects from the roads delegates will take to the installations near the G20 venues. Delhi's markets such as Khan Market and Kannot Palace, which are having a makeover, are expected to remain open, but with certain restrictions and special passes for traders. Prestigious hotels like ITC Moria, Taj Palace, the Oberoi, and more are fully booked from September 7th through 11th, accommodating the influx of guests. Hotels are going the extra mile, upgrading security systems and offering special Indian menus to provide a memorable experience to their guests. City agencies are preparing 66 key highways and stretches to prepare for the major event. The Municipal Corporation of Delhi is transforming key landmarks, including the Mahipalpur Roundabout, Shahidi Park at ITU, and more to create a welcoming atmosphere. Along the roads, design of fountains, sculptures and flower pots have been installed as part of the beautifying campaign. Furthermore, walls are being painted and pavements are being renovated. Prime Minister Narendra Modi unveiled the summit's theme as Vasundaiva Katumbakam or One Earth, One Family, One Future, reflecting interconnectedness across life forms. The event will convene global leaders, economics and officials to deliberate on economic concerns, cooperation and policy coordination. Effective collaboration between law enforcement and novel administration is pivotal for summit's success, spotlighting Delhi on the global stage. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to Telangana today for more national and global news updates.